Dear friends, Matthew chapter 10 verses 32 to 33 says, I too will acknowledge before my father everyone who acknowledges me before men. I too will deny before my father who is in heaven everyone who denies me before men. There is a double loyalty in Christian life. If a man is loyal to Jesus Christ in this life, Jesus Christ will be loyal to him in the life to come. If a man is proud to acknowledge that Jesus Christ is his master, Jesus Christ will be proud to acknowledge that he is his servant. It is a plain fact of history that if there had not been men and women in the early church who in face of death and agony refused to deny their master, there would be no Christian church today. The church of today is built on the unbreakable loyalty of those who held fast to their truth. In contemporary times, it is evident that a significant portion of the population lacks concern for the church and its activities. Our loyalty towards our Lord Jesus Christ is often lacking and we frequently find ourselves denying him whether consciously or unconsciously through our words and actions. We deny Jesus through our words. When a young man was asked if he was a Christian, he responded by saying, yes, but not so offensively. Essentially, he meant that he did not allow his Christianity to disrupt his social connections or interfere with the pleasures he enjoyed. Sometimes we say to other people practically in so many words that we are church members, but not to worry about it too much. that we have no intention of being different, that we are prepared to take our full share in all the pleasures of the world, and that we do not expect people to take any special trouble to respect any vague principles that we may have. Another form of denying Jesus is through our silence. There exists a danger in leaving important matters unspoken within the Christian life. Life presents us with the countless opportunities to speak up for Christ, to voice our opposition against evil, to take a stand, and to demonstrate which side we align with. However, it is often easier to remain silent than to speak out on such occasions. Nevertheless, this silence amounts to a denial of Jesus Christ. It is likely that a far greater number of individuals deny Jesus Christ through their cowardly silence rather than through deliberate words. Let us ask the law to give us the grace to be not only hearers, but doers of the holy word, not only to admire, but to obey the doctrine, not only to profess, but to practice your religion, not only to love, but to live your gospel. Let God bless us all.